everybody. <clears throat> My name is Patrick Urweiler and this is Bogi Mittig. We are the Hello. founders of Chimera Project. And before uh, we tell you a few words about our initiative, about, about our gallery, um, first uh, we introduce ourselves. Um, I'm a Swiss art historian and curator from Bern. And uh, since around 2010 I live in Budapest. Before I was uh, also studying in Berlin. And that's actually where also we met. And uh, Bogi at this time was also still studying as uh, sociology and was working at uh, Kunstraum Kreuzberg, which you maybe know. And uh, me and myself, I was uh, studying art history and uh, back in Bern, curatorial studies. And uh, soon after my studies, I went to Budapest. I did working for Truffo a little bit before Aaron's time and uh, also in Video Space Gallery which was a very exciting place, unfortunately not existing anymore and uh, well, soon after I moved there we actually started to uh, found the Chimera project. Maybe you say a few words about yourself. Um, yes, um, so uh, maybe what is interesting and uh, there I will like really continue and follow uh, with the basic idea of the Chimera, uh, which is uh, in our initiative, uh, is also some personal, uh, let's say, memory of mine when I started uh, in the fields of contemporary art in Budapest. Um, first of all, I uh, also started in a non-profit organization uh, the studio of Young Artist Association. I was working for uh, their first gallery. And uh, at that time in 2006 already uh, this discussion has started about uh, losing funds and uh, uh, the need of uh, finding new models uh, for autonomous institutions. And uh, uh, since then, actually, as you, you see and as you heard uh, from Bea's uh, um, presentation, um, actually, uh, these tendencies just uh, became uh, more and more obvious. So uh, when we uh, made the Chimera project, then our first effort was uh, to find a model, let's say, uh, a Chimera, a Chimera something which is not existing, and Chimera, which is actually like combining more uh, creatures, just like here you can see on uh, this picture. Uh, this mythological uh, creature is uh, actually a lion, a goat, and a snake or a dragon. Uh, so we really wanted to uh, find a way, and also find a way like financially, uh, which can like uh, really be a guarantee for our independence and uh, for our autonomous uh, um, uh, way of working. Uh, so from the very beginning on, uh, we uh, were saying that uh, uh, we should have a model uh, which, oh my God, we actually like said that uh, we uh, don't want to be dependent on funds. And uh, uh, we actually, uh, this, this became even more a decision how you heard already, uh, thank you very much, uh, after uh, uh, the whole uh, structure uh, of uh, these funds in Hungary became more and more uh, hard to reach. So we said actually that uh, we would go for, let's say, public-private partnerships and we would go for models where we can, uh, let's say, like, uh, make value on our own and uh, also make money on our own. Uh, so the first thing was that we established also, let's say, uh, another business. Uh, this has nothing to do actually with uh, uh, contemporary art, uh, but this is uh, a business which is funding or activities in Chimera. So one of these head is actually like uh, um, making like creative uh, um, outputs. We have clients from abroad. Actually, this is uh, coming uh, from our networks in abroad. Uh, and with that money, actually, we are funding our program, which is running in the Chimera project. So this is that was the first uh, base. And uh, we are in a Chimera also in a sense that. Uh, um, we think about our gallery uh, and we think about gallery models in general that uh, nowadays uh, they are so much challenged uh, 
so we have to like find new roles and also in a way combine uh, these roles. Uh, so uh, first of all actually how we are operating, we are a program gallery. Uh, that means that uh, we have a yearly uh, program which is built on thematic exhibitions. Uh, so the Chimera project is actually, let's say, your curatorial praxis uh, of ours from Patrick and mine. And uh, we also um, like to invite curators. So as this is a network given, maybe I just uh, add here that we are very, very open uh, for uh, working with you. So. Um, for example, two shows, uh, which also show another very important uh, orientation of ours, is the exchanges. Uh, so we like to uh, make shows where we can have uh, positions uh, and artists from abroad. Uh, this exhibition called The Free Fall was in our gallery in last year. Uh, where we were showing uh, five positions, one uh, Swiss artist, um, Peter Eschmann uh, from Switzerland, and uh, Thomas Walitsky, who is actually originally Hungarian, but he is uh, only, uh, now living in Hong Kong, and three other Hungarian artists, uh, Kutvöldi, Szabó Áron, Favaraz, and Szabó Eszter. Uh, and maybe just add one uh, sentence, uh, that was already the time when the, um, it was like quite clear uh, that there are uh, these uh, pressures on the Hungarian uh, cultural agenda, let's say it like that. Uh, and the exhibition was actually like uh, focusing uh, on, on free fall, on gravity, uh, let's say on, on, the, on the free will, uh, and uh, free will and uh, all the restrictive forces uh, around and the possibilities of some unique and uh, game-changing uh, actions in, in this field. And only to show, this is another show which was uh, not curated uh, by us, uh, but uh, uh, Gado Flora and uh, Andras Heski, who are uh, two very talented young curators. Uh, and they, they were making a solo presentation, but also a curatorial, uh, let's say, concept uh, of uh, Peter Janos uh, Kerekes. Uh, which was actually dealing with the question and the topic of the intolerable uh, image, uh, like uh, after the French philosopher uh, Rancier. Uh, and uh, they were making uh, a very, very coherent and uh, nice uh, show uh, using uh, our gallery space. And this is also what we would like to continue. Uh, so now this summer we will have um, Friend, uh, no, a German curator who is living in Switzerland, and he will make us a show in our uh, gallery space. So that, yeah, so this is kind of the, uh, just two uh, small examples for the one head of Chimera, which is concerning about uh, thematic exhibitions uh, that Bogi and we curate, or as Bogi told, sometimes we invite curators. So this also call for you guys. And uh, another another way we hit is, and that's what Aaron mentioned, that actually. We have like this grassroots organizations, we have the big institutions, in the middle there is somehow not a lot in Budapest. So this is actually challenging now also the galleries to somehow fulfill new roles, maybe also fulfill roles that uh, rather like let's say mid-sized with bigger institutions make. So what, what we try to do is uh, doing uh, collaborative projects with, uh, for example, with, with other galleries and from other countries, we call it inter-art, that's kind of a project. Um, we want to make exchange happen between regions or between cities. One example was what you see here, it's with Soba Gallery from Bratislava. So we were uh, actually sending one of our artists, Kosh Gabor, a conceptual printmaker, to the Soda, Soda Gallery where there could uh, uh, when he could make a solo exhibition with his uh, print work, which is actually based on frottage technique, as you see here, like printing his apartment door up to large-scale woodcuts, with, uh, which is actually um, kind of a huge diary he's making. And uh, it's, it's, it's really important for us not only to make one exhibition, uh, from one region and then to stop, so we actually have this focus on, on the Slovakian art, and uh, so we also uh, invited Stano Mazar uh, to, to a Chimera project, but also part of this was uh, the Kasha boys and Andras Shefalvai, who was also invited 
and Victor Fresh also. We had a kind of a larger collaboration with Bratislava, and uh, we think this is kind of something. Uh, maybe it's not maybe not very obvious that the uh, commercial gallery, which we on the paper we are, uh, is doing. Furthermore, another thing we are doing is uh, collaborations with. Uh, with institutions from not only from Budapest but also from the countryside, Duna Univaros, the Itzade, which has a rich history as an institution. It's the Institute, uh, institute for Contemporary Art. And uh, there we could show a few artists as well, and we were curating a, a big show. One of them was Aaron Kutfa di Sabo. He was uh, presenting his works there. So we are actually also make kind of a, a platform for, for artists and we try to bring them abroad or show them in other institutions and collaborate with, with other institutions as a kind of a institutional uh, way to operate. So and uh, maybe here uh, something, I don't know how it is in, in your countries, but uh, uh, we find that uh, uh, going to abroad and uh, finding platforms for, for a Hungarian artist in our case uh, is uh, cannot be depending on uh, uh, like some participations on art fairs because this is actually happening that uh, uh, galleries are making uh, uh, sometimes very very nice presentations on art fairs and uh, bring their artists out of the country uh, but uh, somehow I think uh, we cannot rely on these only uh, the possibilities because it is quite clear that an art fair uh, has a commercial logic and uh, uh, it has a complete uh, different uh, uh, way of operation uh, what we want. So uh, this interact what Patrick was uh, uh, like now introducing is let's say our um, idea how a small in small gallery like us uh, can go out uh, to abroad and can uh, like uh, make these platforms happen. Uh, with the interest of uh, uh, and seeing and finding the common interest with uh, all these uh, other institutions. And uh, we are making this interact happening two or three times a year. Uh, and uh, this is something which we find like uh, very, very important. Uh, the, this side of presentation of art fairs, uh, there will be other bridges uh, which uh, make possibilities to show uh, Hungarian artists. So one of these Bridges, let's say, is uh, the Chimera Art Award we founded and also shortly introduced this to, uh, to you. So it was like last year, the first time we uh, uh, had an open call, an international open call, and uh, we were, had received like stunningly 600 applications from 70 countries. And it was, was a great experience for us, and in the end there was a uh, a Japanese artist, Chuyoshi Ansai, winning, and we could realize, again, throughout uh, collaboration with the Japanese Foundation in Budapest, we could organize bringing um, Chuyoshi here, to, uh, there to Budapest, and make an exhibition happen, where it's also was workshops involved, uh, because he made this kind of kinetic sculptures, where, uh, the, where he's actually, which are based on the participation of, an, of the audience. So the Chimera Art Award is another tool where which we try to, to make a focus uh, on Budapest from, from all the international other uh, cities and, uh, and countries so they see what's going on and they, then we can invite them for a longer time. Chiyoshi, for example, was for three weeks in Budapest, so could also be considered a mini residency where he could set up his show. So the Chimera Art Award will be uh, something which also will be launched this year and there will be another open call for that soon. And also uh, very important that this award uh, is uh, sponsored uh, by uh, a platform, an artist platform Patrick will talk about. Uh, so this is also a way uh, what I call a kind of uh, uh, public-private uh, partnership in a sense that it is a complete uh, non-profit uh, initiative uh, which is supporting uh, this artist. Uh, so our partner, uh, he was uh, um, sponsoring a uh, $1,000 budget, uh, which is a, a nice budget uh, for a small exhibition place, uh, what we have. Uh, and beside uh, uh, that, there was uh, this uh, cultural, uh, let's say, support from the Japanese Foundation. Uh, so this is also an idea where um, 
find the interest of other bodies uh, and finding uh, uh, the way uh, how they can actually uh, support a non-profit uh, initiative uh, throughout like real, uh, real money. Yeah, and then another initiative you're just, is just actually launching is the Kime Re Residency, where we have a, a partnership with some uh, private people from Budapest, and uh, we will launch that actually, we hope, this year. We are but only to think we could deliver. You see our, our space here at the Klaus up there? Yes, uh, it's actually the center of the seventh the Jewish district. On the right side, where it is sunny, there will be the residency place. So we will gonna invite two, uh, we we're gonna do two residencies a year. We will invite one artist and we will invite one curator. They can live in, in Budapest for one month. They have kind of an output, uh, which, which we still are, will define. But uh, this is one other initiative, uh, uh, additionally to the award, which maybe is a bit more free. And uh, we're re looking forward for that, and also uh, we'll do that in uh, very soon. And here again, uh, maybe that uh, uh, the, the supporter uh, is a Hungarian uh, couple uh, who are very keen on supporting, uh, let's say, contemporary art. Uh, they are also like building their own collection uh, and uh, they just uh, bought this uh, uh, place there uh, and their idea is uh, to have an apartment uh, house actually uh, so they will follow uh, their own uh, initiative also with that uh, but uh, they are also uh, trying to support uh, in that sense, uh, throughout this residency, a kind of an autonomous way of uh, production of um, art. Yeah, and the... Uh, yeah, uh, so the off Biennale was already mentioned, so I maybe don't tell a lot about that. Uh, it, will, it will happen uh, from the end of April and uh, in May. Uh, we would like to invite you also, we will have a show there with uh, uh, Lucy Fonten uh, in our gallery. Uh, and I think this is like really a great uh, initiative uh, and a great vision how to answer all these questions. Uh, they are circling here uh, also all around. So just to, finishing, uh, to finish this, uh, I just say a few words. We can talk afterwards because it's actually a huge project I just introduced with few sentences. It's called Works.io. It's, uh, it's not uh, part of Chimera project. It's another uh, project I'm working on together with my partners, two partners. It's a startup actually, a platform for contemporary art. It's, uh, everything is online and uh, it's about uh, giving uh, the professionals in contemporary art tools in their hands that they can use to manage uh, their daily needs to solve their problems. It goes, starts for artists, so, uh, we provide uh, portfolio, CV tools and uh, statements they can upload and have a nice clean portfolio. So that's actually the basic, but now, wait, just come back. Um, now we also provide the same solution for curators, that's why I brought here the, uh, the project as well. So curators can also make profiles and uh, it's kind of, you have to think about like LinkedIn for contemporary art is our vision, where people can connect but it's really like custom made for contemporary art. So I know there is portfolio sites like Behance, but this is for design and it has a kind of a designy um, approach. Uh, we think that uh, we have a very good solution for artists and now for curators. We already made um, some uh, first collaborations with ICI from New York with the, uh, with the platform for curators. And we will also bring again, and there we also stress again the Budapest, we also bring ICI curators to Budapest. And for this, for example, an institution like ICI can make a profile on the platform as well and handle their open calls. So if you guys uh, know it, uh, running institutions doing open calls, we now uh, have a solution for free. Every, uh, what I mentioned, everything is for free. And there are some paid versions, but up to a certain level and a very useful level, uh, this is without money. And uh, so open calls, you can manage throughout the platform in a very time-saving way. If you want to uh, uh, know more about it, you just come to me, I will explain you. Or you pick one of these cards which are in the entry hall and you can check it out by yourselves.
And uh, as uh, saying goodbye, uh, I would like to mention that uh, Hoosh Gabor uh, is uh, invited uh, from uh, the meat factory. Uh, he will have a residency uh, in April and uh, in May there. And also uh, he will have a solo show in the Kostka Gallery uh, where he will show uh, his uh, uh, work, what he will make during this residency. Uh, and we just would like to uh, invite you. Uh, we will be also there, and of course, Gabor will also be there. So it would be nice uh, if you could uh, check out, let's say, uh, face to face uh, one of our artists. And uh, we have a very nice space uh, in the 7th district. It is directly on a square. Uh, the sun is shining, so come to Budapest, and uh, we will be very happy to meet you there. Uh, we will uh, leave our flyers and uh, everything so you can take materials and we would be happy to talk to you after this. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much.